Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus went out to the Mount of Olives. At daybreak, he reappeared in the temple area. And when the people started coming to him, he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees led a woman forward who had been caught in adultery. They made her stand there in front of everyone. Teacher, they said to him, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses ordered such women to be stoned. What do you have to say about the case? They were posing this question to trap him so that they could have something to accuse him of. Jesus simply bent down and started tracing on the ground with his finger. When they persisted in their questioning, he straightened up and said to them, Let the man among you who has no sin be the first to cast a stone at her. A second time he bent down and wrote on the ground. Then the audience drifted away one by one, beginning with the elders. They left him alone with the woman, who continued to stand there before him. Jesus finally straightened up again and said to her, Woman, where did they all disappear to? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she answered. Jesus said, Nor do I condemn you. You may go. But from now on, avoid this sin. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, bless this and worthy priest that I may share with the heart, not just with the lips. And that people listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come Holy Spirit. Sisters and brothers, April, it's April. By the way, how do you pronounce the uh, third month of the year? April or April? How do you pronounce the third month of the year? April or April? You pronounce the third month of the year March. Okay, good. Um, sisters and brothers, there are people who try to make us smile. Make us show the sunshine. The least we can do many times is. Okay. By my way, I call me. Ano ba yan? Oh my God. You have people like that around you. Don't, don't give up. Let the sun shine in. Keep doing that. Maybe that's your role. It's okay. And the others, the role of, of others is just to put off the fire. Your role. My role and your role as Christians is to keep the fire burning. And that's not easy. Anyway, to keep the fire burning, we keep saying, okay, by God's grace, January was okay. By God's grace, February was uh, uh, no worry. And we say, by God's grace, April will be well. This is the meaning of keeping the hope and the joy alive. And I hope all of you will keep that mission. It's so easy just to be sad. It's so easy to shoot down people. It's so easy to say what is bad about people. But today, today, it's something beautiful. The story about the woman caught in adultery and how Jesus saw the good, not the bad. Uh, well, 
for all those who are celebrating their anniversary, wedding anniversaries, etc. Nag-anniversary yata yung kaibigan natin si Lamel, saka si Alice Castello. Anyway, hey, let me tell you an anniversary story. Wow, 60th anniversary, wedding anniversary. So pagdating ng renewal of the vows, the the groom was asked to say something bago mag-renew. And he stood up and said, Well, my dear wife, uh, maybe I just want to say uh, I love you. Uh, ganun pa. Tapos, uh, maybe I didn't treat you just as good as I should have. No, may pakanta-kanta pa siya. And the crowd, of course, were getting happy. The crowd, well, yung mga, mga meron niya, mga cheerleaders niya. And don't know, oh, I love you. And to all the girls I loved before, naku, palakpakan na naman yung mga barkada niya. Well, they are nothing compared to you. Ang saya. And the wife was just quiet. I loved you, sabi niya. And the wife said, you know, I loved you twice as much more all these years. That's all the wife said. Natahimik na. Everybody was quiet because she was speaking a very simple truth. And she ended up this. I know about you, my dear husband, all these years. But then she said also, Bumawi rin siya. By way of a song. Years ago, I decided that I'd rather go on living with your lies than go, go on living without you. The name crowd. She said it in a very simple way. This is what happened with Jesus, the woman caught in adultery. And the crowd that was about to throw the stone. Mga kapatid, today I ask you, saan ka most of the time? I call it me and the crowd. You're always with the crowd. That woman caught an adultery. It's just me and God. That's all that mattered. Me and God. And many of us are always about crowd mentality. What will the crowd say? Pinapaalala po sa atin, hey, there will come a time when it's just you and your God. You stand before Him. Wala ka na mga cheerleaders dyan. Wala ka na mga meron. Wala na. It's just you and your God. We experience these moments now. It's just me and God. JMG. Just me and God moments. For example, when you are in a hospital, you're sick, you're alone. Even your loved ones cannot be there. It's just me and God. Before you sleep at night, sana, you have this just me and God moment. Ang problema, many of us are so always focused on what the crowd says, what the crowd thinks. You know, when that woman said, I decided I go on living with your lives rather than living without you. <laughs> Ganun yung mga ibang nandun. And I said, how many of you, see, mga ibang, I don't see gesture ng mga ibang babae na pag may nagkwento. How many of you can say that? She made the choice. She made it with God. So who are we to say you're wrong? Martyr ka, siraka, you're a fool. This is what the Lord is telling us. There are times when you have to go against the crowd and just follow your God. If you never did that, you'll stand before God at the end of your life and say, Lord, kasi sabi nila dapat ganito. Kasi baka may masa. No, no. It's between you and me. There are decisions that are just between you and me. 
I hope, mga kapatid, you don't live with that crowd mentality, which is easily a crab mentality. You know, there's a little story. Uh, maybe nahahalata natin to. For example, we compare ourselves with others. The crowd was so happy na huli itong babae na ito. And they forgot their own sins. They were focused. Medyo masaya nga sila eh. Oh, for example, nasa expressway kayo, may nagkat sa'yo, o kaya sumingit sa, you know, may mga taong ganun eh, tas, eh, masaya pa sila, nakaisa sila, naisahan tayo. That kind of mentality. And you feel bad, definitely. O, oh, pagdating naman sa dulo, nakita mo, flag down by the police, oh, mabuti nga, be, buti nga. So we always have that crowd mentality, crowd mentality. The Lord is telling us, get out of that. Get out of that. Be compassionate. Oh, for example, yung pa natin palagi, oh, I told you so. Sabi ko na nga ba eh. Ganyan ka. Be, buti nga. Oh, napalaan mo. May mga ganun tayong hugot eh. Mm. Gunggunam. <laughs> May mga ganun. We want to get even with people because you're still in the crowd mentality. Get out of that. And sometimes, you know, during the pandemic, somebody was dying and she kept telling to me by phone, Oh, I don't want my friends to see me. I really don't want, you know, Father, I, I go, is that all that matters? And I, you know, I don't want to be cremated, you know. Oh, just because I go, it's all about what people think or say. When will you come to the point say, what does God think or say? Siguro, this is the lesson. The woman just looked at Jesus. And here is the one of the most beautiful moments. Jesus was teaching. They threw to his feet a woman. Shame. Lahat na ng kahiyan. Look at the body language of Jesus. So when he was asked with all the legal arguments na ready, they were ready to pounce on her and to trap Jesus. And Jesus just said, Okay, is there anyone among you who has no sin? Let him cast the first stone. Truth. The power of truth is truth itself. You cannot manipulate the truth. Truth is not just about, not about propaganda. Definitely not. You cannot bend the truth. The truth speaks for itself. See? And then Jesus bent down. The act of bending of Jesus. Alam po nyo yung Ano ibig niya sabihin doon? He leveled down with the woman. Nagpakumbaba. Hey, we're in the same level tayo. I'm with you. And one of the most beautiful things, when he was alone with the woman, Jesus said, Woman, where, where are they that condemn you? Woman is a sign of respect. The only other person whom Jesus called woman is his own mother. So I respect you. And she said, No one, Lord. And then here's the most beautiful word you and I can hear, hopefully, at the end of our lives. Neither do I condemn you. Just like that unconditional. This was a God and me moment. Please don't waste your time about crowd and me. Oh, how much time do we spend checking everything that's happening in the world, happening with the life of this person, so social media. It's about the crowd. That's okay. That's important. We know what's happening. Pero, wag natin kaligtaan po those God and me moments. And um, we learn to be more 
understanding less judgmental. Remember the story about long line, 8 o'clock magbubukas yung grocery nung kasagsaga ng pandemic. So people were lining up to, to that grocery store. And here comes a guy going straight to the door. And daming nag- oh, oh, oh. No, then, So finally he made it. Somebody punched him, brought it. Go back. Ginanon siya. Wala. Mayamaya, nanda naman siya. Papunta na naman sa door. Binugbog na siya talaga. And then finally daman siya. Hey, you better let me pass. I'm a, the owner of that grocery. Bubuksan ko na sa aling grocery natin. How often do we judge people? Yun na lang, sa pagda-drive na lang. Like the way, kung mayroong ganun nagda-drive, isip magyabang naman niya. Walang hiya naman yan. Judgment agad. What if that guy was driving because of an emergency? What if that guy was driving because the wife said, you better be here in five minutes? <laughs> Siyempre, gagawin niya lahat, makakarating. What if the wife beside or the husband beside her is nagging and saying, mm. so we don't know, so please don't go right away to the crowd mentality. Dapat po, i-filter natin muna. God and me. Keep that in mind lang po. And, you know, there's something about the desiderata. There's a line that says, if you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter. For always there will be lesser or greater persons than yourself. Will you please stop comparing? May mga tao po kasi, they always compare. They talk about what they have, what others have. Is that so necessary? Kailangan po ba Don't waste your whole life comparing yourself with that. For all you know, they don't care what you're, you have. What, no, so useless. And, uh, you know, the other thing is uh, speak your truth quietly and clearly. You just say your truth. These are just simple reminders from the Desiderata. Stand for the truth and stand, stand by what is true. So, mga kapatid, today we come before God and ask the Lord for forgiveness. Sorry, Lord, I am a sinner. If you can say that, God and me, you have begun your journey. But if you cannot say that because you're always comparing, be careful of these three things, huh? Useless. Number one, don't be a complaining person. You spend your whole life complaining about bakit ganito, bakit ganyan. You're all focused again on what others have, what you don't have. Number two, don't be a comparing person. Yeah. Bakit sila may ganun? Bakit si ganil ganyan? Wow, ang dami kang heartaches. And number three, don't spend your life as a blaming person. Oh, dahil sa inyo, because of you, I'm like this. Kasalanan nyo ito. May mga ibang tao, 60, 70 years old, ay yun pa rin ang sinasabi. Kasi noon, nung bata kami, si nanay, hindi ako pinag-aaral. Ang dami na. It, it doesn't end. You carry that useless luggage. So what do you say na lang? Lord, I trust in you. Bagahe. Marami tayong bagahe. And Lord, maya pa. Lahat tayo po. Sorry po, Lord, for the times I judge others. I had the privilege. I was so privileged to say anything I want to say about everything. And may mga ganun eh. Self-appointed. <laughs> Self-appointed. They have to say something about everything about everyone. And they take that as gospel truth. Lord, please help us. Teach us to focus more God and me moments and less on crowd moments.
from now on. Sisters and brothers, the last one is when the Lord says, neither will I condemn you, go, sin no more. Beautiful. Pero, sin no more. Yan ang mahirap. So how do we go about that now? Yes, Lord, I'm forgiven. Thank you. And I want to change. Paano tayo mag-change? Well, just maybe suggestion. Mayroon pong change, mayroon pong conversion if we have this, I call it the four Ps. Keep, keep this in mind. That from now on, you live in the presence of God. God, you are present in my life. Whenever temptations come, Lord, you are with me. Okay? Don't stay in the darkness of sin or in the dim lights of sin. Be in the presence of God. Seek His presence in prayer. Awareness, I am not alone, Lord. You are here. That will help us avoid temptation, avoid, avoid sin, and not fall into temptation. Second, P. Rely on the power of God. Problema natin, we rely on our own power. Oh, nagkulang na naman ako ng willpower, kung ano-ano. No, you cannot, I cannot do it alone. We need you. So what's the best prayer? Whenever we are tempted, we feel weak. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. Right now, may I ask you to think of a sin Ugali mo na ang hirap mong tanggalin, ang bad habit. Just pray now. Lord, come Holy Spirit. Help me. Hindi ko po kaya. I am weak. So please, when those times come, please hold me, Lord. Stay with me. By your power. And another thing is, trust in the providence of God. You know why people keep getting money and hoarding money? Mandaya na, mampatay na to get more money. Because they are afraid to be poor. That they have no provisions. Kaya kahit sobra-sobra na, they keep getting. That's greed. That's hoarding already. So maybe, if you say, Lord, I know you will provide for me. And that is enough then maybe you let go na yung mga kung ano-ano mga God is enough. God is enough. Okay na. And finally, hope in the promise of God. May pangako si Lord eh. Listen to His plans. I have plans for you. Plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. So if you live with that promise, you will not fall into sin. You can stay focused on the Lord. So Lord, please help us to live in your presence and to seek your presence in prayer. Help us to rely more on your power, O oh God. We are weak. We need you, but you are there to help us. And Lord, help us to trust in your providence. You will provide. God will make a way. Yes. And we hope in your promise. We hold on to your promise. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. For having forgiven me so much, so often, so many times. And... I have been forgiven much, Lord. Help me to, to forgive others. Help me to understand others. Help me not to judge others from now on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May I have more moments with you and less moments with the crowd from now on. Amen and amen.